I want to show you three ways to attract higher end clients for your contracting business. And all three of them are things that you can start doing today. Hey, this is Logan Schenholzer with Contractor Growth Network. And today I'm going to be walking you the top three ways to attract higher end clientele. Now, let me explain to you why a lot of contractors, like 95% of contractors, have problems attracting higher end clientele. Here's a secret. You ready? They're all the same. They're good at their craft. They say that they're good at communication. They say they're good. At the, it, it doesn't matter what they say that they're good at. They all say the same stuff. Everybody says the same stuff. So there's no real reason why a homeowner would spend twice as much money with you when you're saying all the same stuff as the next guy down up the street who's half as much money. So that's why you're attracting people who are lower end is there's nothing that makes you stand out whatsoever. So I want to walk you through exactly how to do that. And it's going to seem super simplistic, but it works. So the first thing, professionally shot photos are going to help you out so much. It is not even funny yet. Most contractors don't take the time to do that. They say that they've been in business for 30 years and they do all these really high end projects. But if you look online, they either have no photos or they have photos from 15 years ago from styles that are way outdated. What homeowner wants last decade's styles? No one. But yet you focus on the wrong stuff. So instead of sh putting your best foot forward, which as a tradesman, as a craftsman, if nothing else that you, you know, let's just say you're not good at customer service and let's say your experience sucks, but you're good at the craft, at least show pictures that are good and they're quality pictures of you, right? So if you like look, a lot of the photos of the best contractors that we work with, they're professionally shot photos. They have good angles with them. The lighting is well done. So a contractor is walking into a space doing a $75,000 project and then turning around and spending a grand on professionally done photos. There's a new uh, company that's actually about to go public and it's called Open Door. And what Open Door does is they're really a real estate company. They, they go in, they take a house, they flip it, and then they sell it for a lot of money. But what they're able to do is they understand the benefit behind staging a house and behind the photos. So you're not looking at some crappy MLS, you know, tiny photo that's grainy. You're looking at magnificent pictures that are staged well, that paint a picture and paint a story. People will spend more money for that because you put in a little bit of effort. Most of the pictures that we see from contractors are it's a finished product, but you still have tools all over the place. There's still painters tape on the walls. That doesn't show a finished product. They think it is, but it's not the final product that the homeowner wants. So put your best foot forward. Higher end photos are going to attract higher end clientele. It's that simple. How can Lamborghini sell Lamborghinis if they said, trust me, we'll build you a great car, but I don't really have any pictures from this decade of what the car is going to look like. You wouldn't buy it, would you? The next thing, number two, get online reviews. If you're watching this, you most likely work off referrals and past customers, and that's fine, but referrals are now online reviews. All right. One of our clients, uh, Tribble, since we started working together, they probably had when we first started maybe a year and some change ago, like a hundred, oh no, I'm sorry. Um, like there's like a couple dozen reviews and now they're at 177 a little over a year ago because it is in their, their culture to get reviews from clients. And when you do this, guess who is looking at these reviews, people who want to hire you. So when they look at your company versus a couple others, and you've got 177 five-star reviews and the next person has, let's just say they have a lot, but they have 21 five-star reviews versus 177. The numbers don't lie. People like to side with other people. They like to go with the masses. So if you are lacking reviews and you're one of these companies that you've been around for decades, yet you only have a few reviews, all of the experience that you have, and when you say, well, I've been around all this time, you have this entitled feeling that just because you've been around, people are going to hire you. And that's not the case. You need proof. The proof is in the pudding. Just like with the photos, reviews are there as well. If you say, well, people love me because I offer a good experience and you have a three star average customer review, what are people going to think? 
people go off what they can trust and they trust online reviews. If you want to attract higher end clientele, you need to have a lot of reviews and you need to have a lot of good reviews. You're not going to attract anybody good with a two star average. And the last thing, number three, you got to be everywhere. All right, it's not enough just to have a website or just to have a yard sign. You need to be everywhere people see because the more that they see you, the more that they trust you. And the more that they trust you, the more willing they are to spend money with you or hire or more money. Whatever your, your end goal is, whether it's larger projects or it's the same size project, but 30% more money, that's what, if you're going for that, that's what you need is this omnipresence. Omni being everything, like everywhere. So you need to be on Facebook, on Google. You don't need to do TikTok or, or anything like that because your ideal client is probably not a nine-year-old girl, but you need to be everywhere. You need to be posting on Facebook, showing the crew, showing your projects, because people, you will build a community that way. And when you build a community that way, guess what? People trust you. And guess what happens when people trust you? They spend more money. So as you see, everything that I'm showing you, nothing is proprietary. There's no secret. There's no, you know, do this one thing and you're golden. You need to A, show your work, get professionally done photos. If you want to attract people for $20,000 painting projects, but all you do is you operate in trailers and all your pictures are of you painting a trailer, nobody in the $20,000 project range is going to hire you because you don't walk the walk. You would never buy a Lamborghini from a salesman that shows up in a Pontiac, plain and simple. So show the work that you want to do. Dress for the job that you want, not for the job that you have. So if you, all you show are crappy photos or photos from 15 years ago, you're only gonna attract those people. Part two, get those reviews in. People trust online reviews. If you have bad reviews or no reviews or minimal reviews, good luck building up trust for people to open up their wallet. And part three, be everywhere. Be all over the place. Like right now, if you go to our website, you're gonna see Facebook ads, you're gonna see YouTube ads, right? We do everything we can to stay in front of you because the more that you see us, the more that you, you trust us. And that's the same whether you're a contractor, whether you are selling bracelets online, it doesn't matter. The more that people see you, the more they will build trust with you and the more trust they have built with you, the more likely it is they will spend money with you. If you want to build more trust with clients, the first step is get your foundation set up head to contractorgrowthnetwork.com, learn more about what we do because that's exactly what we wanna do. Not give you a ton more leads, but work so that all the leads that come into you are ready to buy because they know why you're special. They know what you're all about, and best part, they know ballpark pricing for what you charge, so they're not trying to, to buy a Nordstrom project with a Walmart budget. Contractorgrowthnetwork.com, thanks.